Um, welcome, thank you for coming, we appreciate it. We're here to announce the ESPN of Missouri Southern have uh, agreed to televise the ESPN um, on ESPNU, the One State, One Spirit Classic at Leggett and Platt in October. Uh, really just basically on this, it's very exciting that it's going to be nationally televised. The key to this though I think is to thank ESPN and particularly Jay Billis with working on that from the ESPN uh, perspective. In addition, um, Mike Alden from Mizzou and Coach Haith from Mizzou were very active in this and obviously Coach Haith was here right after the tornado and uh, was very interested in, in coming down to Southern and helping out with that. In addition, there's some staff uh, from Southern that were very active. Coach Korn was involved in this and Kevin Grime have, have been really working uh, diligently on, on having this game be able to be televised nationally and also just to have Mizzou down here and also Missouri State following that. Um, in addition uh, to that, it is sold out with the exception of premium courtside seats are still available. So the event is sold out uh, with the, except for those, uh, those seats that you'd buy through Mizzou. So if you are planning on attending or trying to get your face, face on television, uh, it'd be appropriate to get those seats. Maybe worth it. Um, anyway, I just want to end by saying this is a great opportunity for Missouri Southern. It's a great opportunity for the city of Joplin. Um, as you know that the resources from this event are going to help out with tornado relief, particularly on, this, on the campus with uh, over 400 students that were impacted, 50 faculty and staff, and uh, all of these things brings attention to Joplin regarding the disaster. So we really appreciate the fact that ESPNU uh, will be televising that game and also the fact that Mizzou uh, was working diligently with us to, to make that happen. Are there any questions for me? Is there a tip-off time yet? It has not been determined as far as the tip-off time, but it will uh, focus around uh, 541, the time that the tornado struck. How many premium seats are available? And I think initially we had... Ooh, 86. 86, okay. We had 86. I know some of those have sold. Last count, I think it was right around 60 that were still available. And they're 500 They're $500. They also include uh, on Saturday night, the night before the game, uh, there is a social that will have both programs there, coaches talking, uh, some other dignitaries there, and so it does include that social uh, and a chance to meet with those teams and hear what they have to say. They're available through Mizzou. Not That's here. correct. Not here. And the virtual tickets are uh, through Mizzou also? Yes, the virtual tickets are sold through uh, Mizzou as well. And that's a great way, it's a great, great point. That's a great way for people who are not going to be able to, to attend but still would like to support the effort. Uh, you can buy a virtual ticket uh, through Mizzou that will help. It just basically is a donation to the event. I'd just like to say we're very pleased to be a part of this event. Uh, naturally, we're not pleased with uh, what has led up to this event, and that being the tornado. Uh, we all know that uh, when the tornado happened, we had a lot of friends who jumped on board and, and tried to help us any way they possibly could, and the University of Missouri and Missouri State later on uh, stepped up in a big way. Uh, this game was initiated by Coach Haith in the University of Missouri. Uh, they reached out to us and, and asked if, if we would be willing to play a game and naturally we, we jumped on the opportunity because we felt like it would be something great for this community and uh, the, the funds coming from this event uh, will help a lot of people. So we're very uh, pleased to be a part of the game. Uh, we think that uh, it's going to be a, a great event and naturally with uh, ESPNU uh, being a part of it, it, it becomes not just a state event, it becomes a national event. And uh, that type of exposure is something that uh, we continue need in this area because we all know that, that uh, people have done a tremendous job in clean up and, and starting to rebuild, but we've got a long ways to go. And uh, the, the media told me that uh, right after we went through the tornado, that before long there'll be another event and the media will leave here and go to that event. And we've had hurricanes, we've had fires, we've had all kinds of things where the media have gone to. Uh, so this will draw a little bit more of the national focus back to, to Joppa, Missouri and, and what uh, a lot of our community people are going through. So we're very pleased to be a part of it. Uh, we're excited about the game and uh, we think it's gonna be a, a great event for this community. Robert, was it ESPN who approached you about putting it on television or who at ESPN have you been talking to and who's been there? 
another guy who's been very involved with this, Andy Katz. Uh, if you'll recall, uh, right after the uh, tornado, Andy called me and did a story. And he told me at that time, and he knew uh, from Frank that uh, the Missouri game was a possibility. And he said, I'm going to try to get ESPN to, to get this on. So uh, Andy Katz has been a, a big uh, part of, of making this happen as well. Has it sunk in yet that you're going to play the Missouri Tigers at home? No. <laughs> no. Uh, you know, that, that's, and again, it's, it's just the, the result of the events that's happened. Um, if, if, we, if the tornado doesn't strike here, um, University of Missouri will not even think about coming down here to play an exhibition game. So it's just uh, uh, very disappointing the results led to this. But at the same token, you know, uh, the University of Missouri knew that we needed help. And they were willing to step up and, and come down and help us any way they could. So, you know, I, I can't say enough positive things about the University of Missouri. They've stepped up in a big way. Uh, the opportunity to play a Big 12 school here in your own backyard. Well, um, it's actually going to be, it's going to be very uh, amazing, unbelievable uh, experience. Uh, we all know that Division Ones don't, come to D2s at all and uh, we don't like the reason why they're coming you know because of the tornado and things but we do have the opportunity and uh, we're very excited about it um, I think the guys have been uh, very focused in on this game right now uh, we've come out work hard in preseason uh, so far and uh, we're just very excited to uh, have this opportunity and display our talents nationally you first heard about the possibility of the game being played here what was your reaction I um, honestly didn't believe it was going to happen, <laughs> to be honest. But, uh, you know, like they said, we've had so many people working behind the scenes so hard on getting this together and getting this game. Um, and it, it came to fruition. Now we're excited about it. What's, the, what's been the reaction about the, the, the team, the players, about this game? Um, you know, we've, we've kind of we've talked about it a little bit here and there. But I know in the back of our minds, uh, we're all thinking about that game. We have October. 30th circled on our calendars. So you have Missouri at home, you have Missouri State at home, you have a game at the Sprint Center. Is conference going to be a letdown? <laughs> Not at all. Um, the MIAA is, you know, that's what we're really focused on. We're excited about those games um, that we're going to have a chance to play in. Um, but the conference is our number one priority. Uh, we want to get back to where we were last year and go even further. Um, so it won't be a letdown at all. Talk about playing in front of a national television audience. Um, you know, I don't think it's really sunk in yet. Um, just found out the information uh, yesterday, and I don't know if any of the guys even know yet. So um, I, I, um, it's going to be exciting. Um, but again, like I said, it's, it's just going to be another game. There's always cameras there. It's just going to be on a different TV station. So <laughs> we're excited about it. <laughs>